actually checking the phone if it's working. Should be. Hmm. Boom. Here we go. There we go. Winning. Right. We are in. Well. Hello. So we are doing a little bit of a live because there has been no video today because me and Joe have been on a nice walk. We've had a we've had a Tom and Joe day today. So we decided well I decided I'd do no video today. Which is no bother. Hello everybody. Um so I was gonna do a QA, this is the idea, and we want to talk about the telehandler that's gonna come as well. Uh, that we were talking about in Lama. If you've not seen the Lama video, a telehandler was meant to be coming, and I hadn't heard a lot from them for a while. But I've heard about uh, heard from them lately, which is great. We'll just wait for a few people to come in. Um, we are live. I'll post on Snapchat saying we are live. It's like a picture of myself. There we go. Live. Live. There we go. We are coming in now. Okay, so we are going to talk about the telehandler. And if you've got any questions, put it in the question section below. Are you going to read these? Are you, are you phoning? Yeah, my phone. Your baby phone. <laughs> and what I was going to say, so basically on WhatsApp, I can add my old number, but I think I just want a new one. Yeah, don't yeah. Put, don't say your number now. Just okay, people. Obviously not. <laughs> okay, so telehandler, what's happening with it? We're going to wait till the Magic 300 are in here. Telehandler, what is happening? So the guy messaged me about the telehandler from Daichi, Daichi, Dai, Daichi, Daichi, and they said they're gonna send it, they were gonna send it lately, and obviously we've done a lot of the work, I've done loads of mucking out lately, so we decided to send it in late August, September time, so when we make some big bales, they're gonna send it with a man or two stock, so I can do some feeding, we will have opened the clamp fully by then, and we will be using it a lot more and to move some big bales so we can test it properly. We'll do a lot of mucking out, uh, muck carting, and be shipping some muck as well. So that is the plan. So the Daichi is coming. I've got one of the big ones. We were looking at having, you are in a little, little bit, love. Oh, that's fine. We were looking at having um, one of the little ones, but they're going to send one of the big ones, which is amazing. Everyone loves a little bit more power. Can't wait to knock down more buildings on the farm. It's going to be great. Dad's going to be so happy. Um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, and so, oh yeah, I, I didn't I didn't realize. So I posted on my Snapchat and my Instagram. We have new T-shirts coming out in about two weeks. So these are what they are. Uh, we've got another T-shirt that I posted on my Instagram a while ago. They're kind of like the polos, but then we've got a new design as well. So that's gonna come out very very soon. These are sick. These are great. So I was wearing them today. So um, yeah, Daichi is coming in August, end of August. And new t-shirts are going to be about two weeks. We're going to sort the website out. We're going to take some photos. And hopefully I won't look as staged. The photos at the moment are amazing, aren't they, Joanna? What's this? Photos for my t-shirts and polos and hoodies. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. They just look very, very stern and awkward. No, I do. <laughs> I do. She's laughing. Look, she's there. Hello, Joe. Hi. <laughs> right, okay. First question. How many tractors do we have? Oh, how was size of barn? There we go. People follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. So yeah, we went to size of barn today. We went to Kendall to walk the moon. She's somewhere snoring. Uh, went to <laughs> she is snoring. Um, size of barn was good. So if anyone doesn't know size of barn, it's near Kendall. Um, they have a raw milk machine, but it's a, a big raw milk machine. Um, they have uh, glass bottles. They uh, through a other vending machine. So you buy everything through a vending machine, and then like the bottles, like a Coca Cola or something like that, drops down. Then you go to the other machines. They have glass bottles as well, which is great. Um, but we don't have that system, so we kind of go in for what's the what's the thing? Uh, what's the name for it? Like good goodwill box. So we have ours there, but they go through a machine, which is really really good idea. And then you can refill the glass bottles, and you can refill the plastic bottles. Um, but obviously they're a little bit cheaper, and you can do that. So yeah, it was great. That was good. We had a steak and ale pie, full of meat, uh, some wedges. It was good, good food, Joe. Yeah, that's good. Good food. And then we waited for the uh, milk in because you've got to, got to have a day off. Got to watch a bit of milk in. It was very exciting. So we did that. Oh, camera's a little bit angled there. Yeah, so we watched that. So low size barn was great. Yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Thought it was good. The milk in was good as well. So they milk, they, um, where they have the milk cows is they, how did they do it? They 
uh, stripped out, washed with one of those machines that you put under every teat, then dry wiped with a cloth, put the unit on, then iodine, I think. Didn't actually see him when they finished, so they went off. Um, yeah. Oh, Joanna, you, you what's up? Who wants to know Joanna's number? It's Short 07. Tom, I'll deck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was good. It was interesting. Can you do a farm tour? Because I'm really interested in what you use. We can do a farm tour. We need to do a milking video, which I know I need to do. Oh, just getting around to it. I just want to. I've, I've bigged it up so much now that it's just. I love that you keep talking to me and I'm just ignoring yeah, you. Just do yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, what did you get? Uh, Tom, did you get a postcard from a little girl last week? I did get a postcard from a little girl last week. I think did I get a postcard? I think I did. I did get a postcard last week, which yeah was amazing. Um, it was really good. It was a nice little postcard. She was in Scotland, so she saw some Highlands, and she was thinking of me. So it was really cool. Um, I found a really good pair of sheet trimmers. Yep. Do you ship merch outside of the UK? Okay, so yeah, we're bringing that in. I'm bringing outside of the UK in. The postal packaging is quite large, but if you want it, you can have it, but that's the, that's just how much it costs me to send it away. So, and I always get it signed for, so I know that the person's got it. So that's why it puts the price up a little bit as well. I think it put it up like three quid to get it signed for away. So if I just sent it not signed for, it was um, three quid cheaper, but uh, I like the guarantee. So the amount of cost it would be if someone said didn't receive it, so. Uh, okay, here we go. Loving the new top, to be fair. Cheers, guys. Just use top properly. Bang, look at it. Yeah, farm life. So, this is all my um, original logo under. Are you smiling at me? I'm smiling because I've told you not to put me in it. Oh, I'm like, hi. Yeah, but that's what. Joe, jo, it's called views. And you bring views. This face, no views. Your face, lots of views. Not when it's like this. Long bombshell. Uh, yeah, so they look great. Um, I think. And we'll bring them out pretty soon. I'll let everyone know. Uh, Da, da, da. Does your girlfriend like farming? Here we go. Um, Joe likes farming because I like farming. She likes me, um, but she's not properly farming for me. I am gonna get Joe to drive a tractor, aren't we? You she's never, to. never, ever driven a tractor before. So we're gonna try and get Joe to drive a tractor this summer. That's one of the one of the ideas, which would be good. Drive a tractor with nothing on it, and then what we might build in depends how it goes. We might put a tanker on the back of it because it's quite simple, the tanker to I'm use. I'm such a good driver. You are such a good driver. <laughs> and at least a tractor is restricted to 40k and you can't break speed limit ever. Oh, that's rubbish. Why would you drive a tractor then? <laughs> Joe's, Joe's got a bit of a heavy foot. Bit of a heavy right foot, haven't you, Joanna? Yes, yeah, you do. but I get told off for it, so it's uh, um, Here we go. So, yeah, she likes farming as much as um, she does because I'm obviously a farmer, but the thing is, if she was mad into it as well, we wouldn't have anything else different to speak about, would it? So it's quite no, nice. Oh yeah, it's nice. She brings me back to uh, normal earth. <laughs> um, what made you want to have sheep? We have a thousand. It takes us three days to shear, about one, one and a half months to finish lambing. Uh, we only have a few sheep, so um, I think they're pretty cool because when they lamb in April, it's normally before we're doing any spring work. This year was a bit different. We did a lot of spring work before. We did a lot of spring work whilst we were lambing. I'd say yes, we've only got a few. We have not got big time into sheep, um, and I, I, I really like lambs, so that's the reason why. Uh, John is a better driver than me. Incorrect. Uh, oh, shut up. I'm a good driver. <laughs> uh, are you going to a Royal Welsh show? Royal Well Show, are we going? No, I don't think so. Um, we are going to try and go to the Great Yorkshire Show. Oh, you're in it, sorry. I'm trying to get comfy. Do you want to be in it or not? No. Do you like your face? I don't want to be in it. Do you it. like your face? Um, yeah, so we're looking at coming to the Great Yorkshire Show, I think, on the Saturday. That's the plan. And then, um, yeah, doing that. And then I think I might be going to the, oh, what show is it called? Uh, the Game Fair. Is it the Game Fair? Yeah, the one that you were off. Yeah, the Game Fair. With Roots. Going for What's that on the, on the Saturday. I'm sort of die. So, yeah, I think I'm doing that. Saturday. Saturday. I thought you were going to go with the Saturday night. I'm Okay. You're getting serenaded. It's serenaded at the same time. Um, would you have a John Deere? Yes. Send me the money and I'll buy one. Yeah. Uh... 
I might see you at York's show. Yeah, so I'm going to go, we, we, me and Joanna, maybe Joanna, are going to go to York's show Saturday. So that'll be cool. How do you make a folder? Ah, York's show is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, pal. Looks like I'm not going Saturday. You won't be able to get it off. No, I'm not getting it off again. I'm no. not running holidays. Looks like I'm wrong. Is it? Is it? Are we, are we, are we correct with that? Tom, do you know how to make a folder on your phone? Uh, what do you oh, I've done it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Don't Nailed even, it. Don't need me. Don't need you. Um, Yorkshire Show. Guys, am I, am I right? Am I wrong? Who's... Uh, yes! Wrangler cutting hay on Wednesday with the uh, MF Power. Lad, yes. Hopefully it's 8 foot with uh, triple drums. Uh, here we go. Sorry for doing this. Great Yorkshire Show. Come on, when are we? Great Yorkshire show. Mm-hmm. You all could give me the answers right now, but I'm just concentrating on this. What do you think of Fast Track? So we were in Kendall today and saw a guy carting some straw, some straw already, which is pretty nuts, uh, with Fast Track. Yeah, nice. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, can you take... Great Yorkshire show. Tell you what. The people are right. Oh, the people are right. Whoever commented that, you are correct. It is Tuesday to Thursday, 9th to 11th of July. So if anyone's going Saturday with me, we'll be to going together because no one else will be there. So I'm I, I'm wrong with that one, John. So we're not going? Uh, you're Aww, not going. So I might sad. go. I might be going. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So sad. Uh, are you getting hay? We are getting hay cut with a great Fergie, you know, for 100 acres. Oh, mate, it's going to take a while. Do you fancy getting a bigger tanker? Yep. Fancy getting a bigger tanker, bigger tractor, um, new sheds. I want it all, but it's just currently. Hopefully the farm shop will start paying for new sheds and stuff, so that'd be cool. That's the aim. Uh, so, yeah, I'd like a bigger tanker. 2,500 2, gallons would be ideal, but then you need a bigger tractor to pull it. And then you probably need bigger mowers. Everything needs to get bigger. But at the moment, our Herman can do everything for us with all our kit. We could probably go bigger on a couple of stuff without getting a bigger tractor. So that's the issue. <laughs> I just want a cab. Yeah. So I was so I was chatting about dad to the I was chatting to dad about this the other day. So when I first started, I'm 27 now, which is old. Um, when when I first started, we were feeding at the other farm we had with a loader tractor that had no cab. We had no cab on the loader tractor, wind, snow, everything, and we were loading up on that. And now we've got the Manitou. Yes, it is an old Manitou. It's not the newest Manitou in the world, but it's like a step above from what we were using. So like in 10 years, we have definitely got better. That old loader. You actually, The actual old loader is in uh, that pile near the uh, tires. So if you ever see a video, it's actually like right at the edge and you'll see the old loader we used to use, a bit of a sheer grab. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it, it's old school. Um, sure, the YouTuber would pay for a robot and a new shared Rolly Matthews. Oh, God, how much do you think it is? <laughs> One day, yeah. That, yeah. Just, a, yeah. just a cool £300,000. Well, that'd know? be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. One day, yeah, a holiday, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making videos on Farmer Joe, just be on holidays with mates. <laughs> See ya. Oh, I I have Manitou Envy, Homestead in the Highlands. Manitou's great. Don't like loaded tractors, they don't work. Well, the, I, I understand the principle if you need another tractor, but I would also always go with a telehandler. Now, whilst you've used a telehandler, I would always go with it. Uh, hi, Tom, got your merch on right now? Yes, that's what we want to hear. Uh, let's have a look. Right, question for me, question for me. When are you going to demo that telehandler you saw in spring? Okay, so at the start of the video, I did tell everyone the telehandler is coming late August when we're going to be shifting bales, moving muck, and the clamp will be open, so we'll be using the uh, Manitou a lot more. At the moment, we're using the Manitou to load up bit silo. The video is going to come soon, so we're only using it a little bit. So he did ring me. Oh, he emailed me. He emailed me. Um, like about three weeks ago because I hadn't heard anything from them since Lammer and then three weeks three weeks ago I heard from them and uh, they, they were going to send it like pretty much straight away it's July 
And we're like, well, it's not going to have a lot of work, so it makes sense to get the most amount of work of it late, late August. So I think we're going to give it me for a week. Might be, might try and push it for two weeks because it just depends what the weather does. So that's the aim. So it's coming end of August, September time, hopefully, with a massive headstock, and we're going to smash it. No, I'm, I'm not going to smash it. I'm going to work it really well, and we're going to smash videos, and they're going to look sick. Here's on my loot. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Do you make silage bales? Yes, we did. We made 247 last year. Still got about 200. So, and we've sold a few. Uh, I agree. The telehandler is better. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what drone do you use? Okay, so, uh, right, there's a good question there as well. What drone do you use? I use a Mavic Pro Platinum at the moment. I uh, want to get the Mavic Pro 2, but again, it's another like two grand ish to update it because all of my Mavic Pros, I've got like four batteries. So it's all in my camera bag. And I just, I think it's really, really good to have loads of um, batteries, bang, putting you on my bank, putting you on in. And you can, you can, so you've got like an hour of flying time. So now I've always got my drone. Well, I don't always have it up. I try and get it up and try and do the best shots possible. Um, but I want to get some Mavic 2, but it's just a bit of a cost, which I can't afford at the moment. Uh, hopefully with YouTube might pay me enough to buy a, uh, Mavic 2 in like a few months maybe that'd be, that'd be cool um, am I going to watch Love Island tonight? yes I am Yes, always, I am. Love always. we love Love Island Love Island is like you had a stressful day, just watch Love Island and your mind just goes blank <laughs> <laughs> it's a true fact isn't it any future children? Luke's first bro uh, not currently I'd quite like to get married first. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> well, you're there. Hola. Don't talk about married love. <sighs> so, I'm come to Cumbria. We came today. We did it. Uh, I, Cumbria, is it? Uh, no, it's like the strict. It's, exactly, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit south, but close ish. Uh, here we go. How will Brexit impact your farm? No idea. Oh, just that, that's, a, that's, that's a hell of a question. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a little bit deep for a Sunday. Chill out, bit of a laugh. You know, don't look don't like those big questions on a Sunday. Trying to catch your eye out. Yeah, probably get it wrong. Uh, scraping. Question for Joanna. Scraping or milking? Would you rather scrape the yards or milk the cows? Scrape the yards. Scrape the yards. Joanna, because? I'm scared of cows. Joe's scared of cows. I'll do. I'll stand with you milking, but I don't, I think yeah, yeah. I've seen it kick one, one kick you before, so no thanks. Mm. It, wasn't, it wasn't a couple. She was just saying hello. Um, she was just saying hello. Because <laughs> it was a fly, wasn't it? Yeah. Congrats on Living Club Day. Thank you. Thirst. My daughter was so excited to have her photo with the man from the telly. Yes. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So that's Aww. Claire. Tatters all. Yeah, Tatters I remember them. Yeah, so we were yeah, dressed. Nice people. Me and Joanna were dressed up as cows and we said yeah. hello. That's okay. not really how I saw my life going. You know, what? surely that deserves a ring dressing up as a cow. <laughs> Comment below if you think I need a ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> how many generations in the farm? Five. Five generations. Sorry, my hands aren't the cleanest, but you know, five generations. We, I am. I am the fifth generation. There we go. Does your girlfriend like farming or is she just saying that? No, I do like farming, but I like it because you like it. I like I like the outdoors. I do like the livestock and things. I do I do think it's an, it's an amazing industry. Yeah, but you're not, it's not really fully alive. into it. But I like, no, say, but like I, I won't come and work on the farm. No. I think that's I think that's a good thing though. Yeah, I no, I like it, but I don't I'm not like it's not my hobby or my interest, if no. that makes sense. And it's and it's no issue. We can have different hobbies, can't we? Do you like fishing? Never really been fishing properly. Mm. Uh, she need... <laughs> what someone said? Julia Alderson. Sorry, uh, ju sorry for the fishing one thing, she but Julia Ju needs a huge ring now. I agree, Julie. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've not had a lot of comments. Um, I'm not really liking these. Some, we have, I need to get. Someone's a... put she needs a ring. Yeah, yes, needs... someone needs a ring. <laughs> so uh, we need to have a moderator for this because. Don't really did that. I come from a farm? No, I did not. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way of getting into farming? Uh, just starting farming if you can. It, it sounds that sounds tough. So go onto Facebook page. There's uh, Farm Jobs UK. 
it's the best uh, five jobs UK that will have anything that if you want to do some weekend work, put yourself down for weekend work or Young Farmers Association. I've never actually been fully part of Young Farmers Association. I've always had little bits to do with them, but I've never actually been in in it. Um, but if you want to get into it, that is a perfect way. But obviously, I've been born into it and I've always had farming mates and then I've had a lot of mates away from farming as well. So I've had a best of both worlds pretty much. But if you want to, if you want to get into farming, Young Farmers or UK Farm Jobs, you, Farm Jobs UK. Um, uh, Colton Farmer should do a live stream. Yes, you do it. Gareth, do a live stream. Uh, a ring is an investment. That Julie Alderson is really costing me some cash. <laughs> it is. <laughs> should buy a new tractor before that. I don't even, don't, you don't even have to spend a lot. Just, just a ring would do. <laughs> uh, she's joking, by the way. So not joking. <laughs> uh, love your videos. If you're going to buy a new tractor, would you buy a Hurleyman again? Or something maybe like a Zeta. I'd buy something a little bit bigger, bigger cab, um, but bigger cab, better cab, a little bit more power, same size. That's what I'd go for. If it had a bit of weight in it, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that's my idea. Uh, will you be going to the ploughing in Ireland? Probably not. Don't think. Unless we want a spontaneous trip to Ireland and seeing ploughing. You always do this, you always get a day off or get a few days off and say, oh, we'll spend it together doing something you want to do. Like we had a day off today. Go yeah, on. so you took me for a walk so you could take me to a farm. Yeah, I've seen milking cows. It's amazing. Yeah, the best day ever. It was a good day, but you always manage to slip in a farm. Mm -hmm. Got it, aren't you? Where's the moon? She's, she's asleep. She's Don't asleep. wake her up. Yeah, she's asleep. She's had, she's had a tough day today. Uh, how many? a fun day. She's, she's had a fun, yeah, she's been busy. Um... Do you have a college or uni degree? Kind of. Went to uni for two years. Kind of. Show moon. Moon's asleep. Sorry, guys. Um, ever thought about an open day at the farm and generate some income for the channel? Uh, ever thought of an open day? Would maybe mix it in towards the farm shop and maybe have like a, a barbecue-y thing maybe in summer? But it'd have to be take some planning. I'd do like a barbecue meet and greet. That'd be cool. I know, but like I always think, would anyone come? But I know, I know. I'd come. Yeah, do come. Be the right I'd day. want to see you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, some people might. I don't know, ask people. Would yeah, you come? Would you come? <laughs> would you come? It's like, yeah. Have a few beers with Tom. Have a few beers, yeah, beers with Tom. And what we could, obviously, if you're over Barbecue 18. Barbecue and beers with Tom. Barbecue and beers with Tom, but if, if you're over 18. Under 18, barbecue and drinks with Tom. We can just have soft drinks, but we could just have lots of soft drinks. A mocktail. Mocktails, look at that. Yeah, that'd be good. And then we could go to the taps. Yeah, pop world. I think maybe just barbecue and beers. Pop world. <laughs> um, cool. How did you get the Highlands and why did you get the Highlands? How? Okay, so, Tom, how did you get the Highlands? Why did you get the Highlands? We, funny story. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> oh, <there laughs> <is>. Thanks. <laughs> Dad had a dad had a knee up like four years ago now I think it was four four years ago. Dad had a knee up maybe four and a half, and he had his knee up three months after it. He had to go get a checkup. He told me, "Oh, I've seen some Highlands on the internet. I might go have a look." So what happened was, which in your dad's language means, "I'm going to go have a look." Pretty much, and that was on a Wednesday. Friday we had two town Highlands set up. Dad's always wanted them, so we were going to. Um, Excuse me, that was horrible. Dad's always wanted Highlands, so he decided to have two. And then obviously we're breeding off them, and we now have eight. Mm -hmm. So, oh, this is this is something we've not caught up on. Uh, we've not spoken about, chatted about. And um, there's a couple of things, that, like on YouTube, we, I'm making videos like all the time, and then I feel like I'm not catching up on some stuff that we spoke about before. Um, and we have... Then we, I've keep making videos and I keep missing things to catch up with like I start something and go oh this is what we're going to do we'll see what we do in the future and then something else happens make another video make another video and then we miss out on it so the Highlands have carved dad's idea um was to put because we've got a Highland herd so what do you do with the Highland herd after you've got lots of them so dad's idea was to put the Angus onto um the Highlands ready for breeding issue with the Angus is that he's pretty big his calves are coming out pretty big out of the dairy heifers. 
um, which are all and right. Highlands are quite small. And Highlands are quite small. I don't know. Jerseys are meant to be able to carve anything, so they've not got an issue. And they're small animals. But obviously the Highlands are smaller again. Um, and these, if you make the heifers too fat, they are struggling to come out. But obviously we're, we're, we're monitoring that a little bit better than we were uh, normally with the uh, airship. We had an airship bull on him. And that was no bother. Slipping out, no problem. A little bit fat, bang, no problem. But this Angus bull is a great bull. But obviously making the calves bigger and making that hole smaller. And um, so uh, he wanted to put the Angus bull on the two hef two we're gonna breed off next year because Toffee and Flora we can breed off next year. I am thinking get another Highland bull. I think the Highland bull's a good idea, and then we're gonna have to start putting Highlands through the shop. It depends. Um we I was gonna do a proper full video on it on what people thought, pros and cons of each decision. Um but I think we're just gonna go. I could still do that. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Be interesting to get comments. Pros and cons of each decision. What do you think we should do? Put a Highland bull on the Highlands or an Angus bull on the Highlands? Yeah, I think Highlands. Yeah. I would have put Highlands, but Dad's the only one who puts one to put Angus on him um, because it is a it is a big, pretty big cost um, to bring the Highland here. And when your car breaks down as well, you know, you've got to get A and A out. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so uh, short horn bull for small calves. Yeah, but then. The whole thing about Highlands is the nice, cute, fluffy teddy bears. It's amazing, isn't it? That's what you want. It is. They're so cute. They're so cute. Right, uh, next question. What are your hobbies? Spending time with Joanna? You don't understand hobbies. Your hobby is this. Yeah, I, I, I do not stop. So, yeah. I So when I don't do... Like, doing videos is a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, especially on farming on top of that, so kind of i see my mates yeah i see my mates but we uh, you know i can't i can't play golf a little bit play golf on holiday it wasn't terrible it would be nice to be better at that but you know i see my mates or if we get a spare afternoon or like sunday today we've had a good day today we have had a good day, had a good day today. today so take we go for a walk or we try and do something don't we try that's a big thing uh would you ever go bald hope not Pretty bad receding hairline out there. Uh, there. Look at that bad boy. It's going. Um, no, I don't. My brother-in-laws, both of them are bald. If they see this, they're gonna, they're gonna love that. One of them definitely is, and one of them struggling because he's thinning out. You know what I mean? Uh, so your dairy tech, what telly handler? Telly handler. Yeah, dairy tech. Cool. Will you take over the farm when the ginger warrior retires? Hopefully. Um, he's. If he, yeah, he will let me. He loves it. He, I don't think Dad will ever properly retire. He'll always be a bow, but I think he's going to slow down soonish because his knee is um, his knees are uh, not the best. So I'd like for him to retire. I've mentioned this before. I'd like for him to retire soonish, just because uh, I'd like for him to you know, be able to walk further and later. But if he keeps working for ten years, he ain't going to be walking for the ten after that. So he needs to slow down in the next five years. Really, that's the plan. That is the plan. So he can be a dad and granddad for longer. So he can be a father and a granddad for longer. To our Freddy, who is currently his only grandson, currently. Um, yeah, that could change. Not for us. Not for us. Not, not, not for, for us. us. Not no, for us. not for us. Um, not, not the moment. Not at the moment. No. I don't know. It just sounded like that was a bit of a hint. Of like, I know. Oh. I was like, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> oh, God. No. It smells farmy. Does it? Oh yeah, it smells oh, like how? a poo. Maybe it's just your stench. Like, I'm being serious. Smell that. It smells good. It smells it like me. It smells quite balmy as well when you just did that thing just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm missing some. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, we're just smelling each other's hair. So, when are you, when are you adding to the clan? There we go, that was it. Uh, how, did, how did you meet? At part, we met at a party. Met at a party. Yep. Mutual friend, 21st. Mutual friends, 21st. Yeah. So it's amazing, isn't it? The 21st, and like, I'm 27 now. I know, we've been together six and a bit years. It's crazy. Don't have an anniversary date. High five to me. Yeah, we don't. Because <laughs> yeah. when, when we both met, like, and started going out, we just, we don't know, we just, that sounds horrible. Because I know it's the girls, girls normally remember, but I don't. I know it was beginning of May. But I don't know what date. No, we don't have a date. It's saving cash. Don't have a date. Didn't think it would last. Look at us now. House and a dog. 
<laughs> oh, house and a dog. I live in Cumbria. We got your merch. Would you get a John Deere? Yes, we'd get a John Deere. For Disway. Thank you very much for getting the merch as well. We've got new we've got the new stuff coming out. It's gonna be cool. And then we're gonna have the hoodies. I need to revamp the website a little and bit. And yours too. won't smell. No, and yours will not smell of farms. Can do if you want. But that's a joke. It won't smell of farms. Uh Tom, how was your living day dressed as a cow? Looks a barrel of laughs. I'm loving my new phone. Why? This portrait mode. Oh, I'm gonna be in great selfies. Oh, jo- Joanna, how was your living? How was it looking dressed as a cow yesterday? I loved it. I love stuff like that. I love just dancing it, like an idiot. It was fun, wasn't it? It got a bit, yeah. a tad bit warm. It was a bit hot. Like it was like being in a big greenhouse, wasn't it? Yeah. Those costumes. But no, it was good fun. Was good. I love dancing. Like we kept dancing right till the end. We did. Didn't we? But then I took my thing off and I'd said to Tom, I was like, I am sweating. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I took my hat thing off and my hair, it literally looked like I had a shower, didn't mm-hmm. it? It was gross. It was horrible. But I had a great time. It was horrible. <laughs> and I have showered since. <laughs> she hasn't. She's lying. This, this camera is amazing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So anyone who wants um, Joanna's phone number, it is. No, shut up. I've got a new phone. I've got a new phone number. And I'm buzzing. Because then yeah. people that I used to know don't have Do you know, uh, plug your Instagram right now. No, it's your channel. And I'm not that, I'm not really present at night at the moment, am I? Oh, okay. No one watch Instagram. Do you have CCTV on the farm? Yes, we do. We have CCTV. I can show you this. Um, here we go. So I'm halter trading the Highlands at the moment. So this might be interesting. Yes, we have CCTV. Don't oh, yes, I, I need to sign. I need to sign in. I need to sign logins at home. Where is it? There you go. I need to sign in logins at home. Unfortunately, uh, how many cuts of silage are you doing this year? Going for three, I think. Um, we've got lots of grass, which is good. Good problem to have. So yeah, we've got lots of grass. How's everyone else's crops been this year? We've been hearing it's been pretty good. Uh, why are you not at the Royal Highland Show? I really want to go to the Royal Highland Show. I've not been, I want to go every year, but never do, so annoying. Um, but we are busy this year with uh, Living, Living Club Day, so that's not. Uh, are you going to Royal, Royal, oh. are you going to, I was actually watching a of it earlier today, I was wondering if the date she mentioned was coming in March, uh, coming in March. Was well, ever coming? So Daichi again. I've mentioned it three times, but obviously people are coming and going. Um, sorry if you've been here a long time, but no, the Daichi is coming in late August, September. When we've got lots of work for it, they were going to send it straight away. Hadn't heard from for a while. Three weeks ago, they contacted me saying really looking at sending it still. Um, we're going to send it uh, August, September ish. Depends when we're going to do big bales, then muck uh, muck carts or muck spreads. And like the clamp will be open, so it'll be working all the time. So that's the plan. Uh, so we'll be using it a lot more, uh, hopefully for a week. I'm going to try and get it for two weeks, just in case the weather changes a little bit. We're gonna. I've got a little bit more of a open to use it. So that's the plan. And the big one's coming. So we wanted that. We were looking at the little one, but I think the bigger one is coming. I think the little one would be better for our farm, a bit more tighter. But the big one's coming, so field work should be great. Um, if we're doing it, yeah, big bales with the field work. So. I th- I, it should be no problem. You just take in pictures of your face. No, I'm looking at how portrait works. Do you like Charolais calves? Good question. I like. I do. Charolais. They're so cute. They look so good. And yeah. The little ginger ones look like you. Not ginger, blonde. But how blonde. is that blonde? Hundred percent. Shut up. No way. Oh, we need to do the washing, don't we? For Love Island. Yeah, I said. Oh, it's 10-2. It's 10-2. Oh, ah. You don't have to start without me. We can do it in the break. I'm not doing the washing without you. You've got out of everything else. Oh. We'll do a bit. Um, but yeah, we need to. What's Joe's number? Question mark. <laughs> oh. Oh, seven. One. Two. One. Do one. Yeah. Hey. He knows. He knows. Uh, you, you just finished first court. Yes, we saw. So if anyone saw me on um, Snapchat today, there was a guy doing first court big bales, which was cool. Doing first court, I'm guessing first court big bales because it was um, in like like higher ground. So I'm guessing they're doing first court and he was carting him all the way, picking one up, take him to the farm, picking one up, take him to the farm. And I thought, you need a bale trailer. But yeah, it's one of those jobs that just crack on and get it done. 
Strawberry blonde. I'm not strawberry blonde. I'm just blonde. <laughs> Is it Teleanda come in? Teleanda come in. Uh, that's, late that's so late August, September. Yeah, because I've done it in the title. Is it Teleanda come in? Oh, okay. So I thought I'd mention it. Um, right, I think I'm going to do the last couple of questions and we're going to get off. Love the new t-shirt. Yes, new t-shirts. Check them out. Oh, look at these. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the new t-shirts. Uh, better if they're on a better looking person. Yes, look at the new t-shirts. New t-shirts are sick. Um, they will be coming in the next two weeks, I think. And I can ship um, anywhere now. So we're shipping abroad, I think. I did ask the person who does my website to make sure they can ship it abroad. Uh, it's just going to cost quite a bit. So if you really want it, you can get it. But if you don't, because the shipping is too much, don't worry about it. Um, so it's just, it's changed now. It's changed. It's not changed. Yeah. Uh, collab with a funky farmer. Yes, we want to do a collab with a funky farmer. If, if I could, it would be great. Um, we might look at doing that in the future. If any of our farmers want to do one, we'll have a look at it in the future, maybe. Five That'd be cool, yeah. Um, yeah, that would be cool to do a bit of a collab with farming or anyone else and kind of you know, bring more awareness to farming. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, what shows are you going to? I was going to go to the Yorkshire show, but apparently it's not on a Saturday. It's Tuesday to Thursday, so I don't think I'm going to that one. We might. You might be able to get time off with you, Joanna. No. No, no. She, she can't get off. Uh, you need more time. Get yourself a Lely Collection Robots for everything. Do what you want after that. Yeah, so I need more time. So if Lely are watching this, if you want to sponsor a farmer and put two robots in, I'm your guy. I'll put a shed up. You bring the robots. That'd be amazing. Uh, top man, Tom. Take care. Cheers, guys. Uh, right, okay. One last question. Um, right, good question. Is that my girlfriend? Yes. That's not the question we're going to use, though. She's here. If you can have anything to help you on the farm that you don't currently have, what would it be? Roof stab, great question. Great last question, wasn't it, Joanna? Epic. Thank you. It was a good question. So uh, I'm going back to that one. Uh, if you could have anything on the farm that you don't, if you have anything on the farm to help you that you don't currently have, what would it be? What would it be? Um, there's so much. There is so much. Uh, oh. So we'd put two robots in with a graves away system, put a new shed up um, over the two robots that holds all the cows, again with the graves away system, and then make the parlour redundant, move some of the sheds back, put a new purpose built calf building, young stock building, so it holds all the young stock. So we've just got stages where it gets better, where um, the calves grow and you get in easily uh, i'd have gates so when the calf is done from there you can go in with the manitou get a smaller manitou um you can go into it muck it out no problem not use a fork and get it clear uh what else would i have uh do 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 or automated scrapers nah probably wouldn't get automated scrapers because i've heard it's quite bad for slurry heel um i think that's it really and i'd probably put a cafe up as well so that's probably that's probably it. Oh, the dog is snoring. I think the dog is snoring. Yeah, so that's probably it. You know, just maybe. So new shed, two new sheds, young stock cow building, Lily Robots Grazeway System. Oh, oh, I tell you what, I would like as well a a um, machinery shed. So all it needs is a roof. Doesn't need the sides. Machinery shed. So next to the silo clamp, machinery shed up there. With that can just put machinery on so it doesn't get wet in winter because at the moment I can end up putting old uh, black silo bags on them. Not to add, you know, silo sheet on them just to protect like the uh, Fleming topper we've got, which is pretty good. Oh, and the new reel for the electric fence. So, you know, only, only, uh, only a minute thing, nothing really, just little bits, you know. If money was no object, I'd just do that, spend. Wonder how much that would cost. Yeah, it's putting the concrete down that would cost the most. Maybe like 600, 600,000 maybe? Yeah, no, the two robots alone. You're looking at 300 grand to put a shed over it. Maybe 200, 600 to 700,000, which could be completely wrong. But for the two sheds and two sheds and robots, that's what we go for. Yeah, guys, so that is it. Great question to finish off with. Um, 
maybe if I do this again, I'll give you a proper question. I'll give you a proper answer to that question. And like one thing that I got to home in on what I would have, uh, maybe I'll do that. But that is kind of what I want in the future. Hopefully the farm shops, that's what's going to bring it. Hopefully with the farm shop, that's what's going to bring the future to us, if that makes sense. That's going to bring onto the farm. And we've put loads of investment into that at the moment. So the farm hasn't had the investment. So soon the farm will get an investment from the farm shop. That is the plan. That is the business plan and strategy we're going for. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in to this live video. I didn't think I was going to be this long. We're going to do a 10 minute video, which has turned into 40 minutes. Thank you everyone who's watched it. Hi to everyone. Uh, I was going to mention some names then. Aaron Quinn, Big Man Fan, uh, Homestead and Highlands, Wrangler, Danny, uh, J Farmer 04, Monster Lads, Fraser Wright, uh, Max Morris, Game File Live, Danny. There you go. Guys, mainly Lacey. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. See ya. Bit of a last minute shout out. See you in a bit.